Here we go. Go fast. Let's go. Attack. Ready, set. 8, 31, hunt. Going through your senior season, I think with every game, every practice that you have, you know, you try to take more advantage of it. Going back to my freshman year when I was named the starter, it was an awesome experience. Shieldhouse fooled everybody on the bootleg, and he's going to walk in for an Illinois touchdown. Going to the Texas Bowl, facing Robert Griffin III and beating him. Sophomore season was a little bit different, but it's still great that we got an opportunity to go to a bowl game and you know, win the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl against UCLA. I think I had really high expectations for last season. Then the season starts off and I get injured in the first game and adversity kind of strikes and you know we begin to struggle as a team. The lowest part was just ending up you know two and ten. I challenged them on what do you want this program to be known as? What type of legacy do you seniors want to leave? On that one you got to be on that wing you got to be on that other side. In the offseason, a lot of us would come together, uh, I mean, almost every week, and, and just talk about you know, the things that had gone well that week, the things that hadn't gone well, and, and how we were going to fix that. We just kept on reminding each other, you know, this is our last opportunity we have with each other. I got this. I think we really built on that. But I do well in the game. Stayed in the pocket. Stayed in the pocket. You took some hits. They don't hurt. No, no, I know. They never hurt. There's definitely a challenge being on the fourth offensive coordinator. Obviously, you wish you had you know worked with one person the whole time, but Coach Cupid came in and just had a had a plan for me. We took a guy that had some downs in his career, but had a lot of ups, and tried to get him back to that player that he was early in his career, and try to get him to a level of throwing the football that hasn't really been asked about him in the, the three previous years. And I started to feel more and more comfortable and. You hope the trust that you build and the knowledge that you build in that offense uh, will be ready by the season, and you know, fortunately, it has worked out. Don't chop your finger off, please. No chopping the finger off tonight. Is that enough? Uh, maybe a little bit more. I got married July 6th of this past summer in Kansas City, home for both me and my wife, Morgan. My best man was Miles Osei, and then the groomsmen from the football team were Riley O'Toole, Ryan Langford, and Steve Hull. My favorite moment was just being up there with my closest friends and to see Morgan walk out. I'll admit that I cried. It was something that I've never felt the emotions like I felt at that point. I know the groom's son were like getting teary-eyed because we were so happy for him to see how excited he was and to see how far they've come. We're gonna have to use that to like bring to holidays and family stuff. You can make our that one chili. Oh yeah, that's true. Me and Morgan started dating right when I was leaving for Illinois and, and she still had a year left of high school. The following year, she decided that she was going to uh, Texas Christian University. Our long distance relationship was the hardest thing we did and probably the best thing that we did. Now, having her here where I get to wake up to her every morning has been unbelievable. People have asked us what's our favorite thing about marriage and it's definitely doing life together. Thank you for providing us with this food and for another week uh, just to enjoy life together. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Each game, when I run out there, the first thing that I try to do is see where she's at in the stands. And when I finally do you know, meet eyes with her, it's kind of that feeling of peace. Everybody jokes around and said, you're playing well because your wife is here. Well, a lot of that is true. To have you know, the best support I could possibly ask for my wife, it makes life even better.